Yo, what up, Shadow Army? It's it is I, Shadow back again with another anime review video. So, here's today, I'm, I'm doing another review of anime show called Hirokani. I hope I said it right, also known as When They Cry. And this is like a mystery, mystery, um, uh, murderer story. And, oh my god, this story, I mean, it is okay ish, and I thought it was gonna be darker, but. It's actually not that dark, but it is a little bit gory and disturbing, though. I mean, the characters look cute and adorable, but when you see a, a dark story, uh, oh, wow, it was a little bit disturbing. And, um, yeah, uh, I don't know what else to say about this, but the, the, the story and the plot, it gets my mind fucked up, and it, when I first watched the, the episodes, the beginning episodes... I thought the two female characters were the murderer, but they reversed it, etc. They, they, they mind fucking you, you know what I mean? And the story is about this small village, and there's some uh, news, etc. going on for the past several, a year or so. Uh, one person died and one of them disappeared for each year for whenever it hits in a uh, festival. Whenever they set a braid, etc., a festival or something like that, and people, one person die and one person disappear, etc. And um, the story is about well, it's, and people are accusing of the family names that they the one who caused all this, and um, and there's some of them, the most higher family member has have a demon part of them, and. In the small village, there's like the three most popular family names. The most highest one is like um, the ruler of the entire village, actually. Well, not really like ruler, just like a normal village. Without, kind of like a president for only his small village. And um, the story itself, again, it was a little bit brutal and disturbing. And I, the one most disturbing thing is the fingernail scene. Oh, Oh god, that was a little bit disturbing. And the one thing that was feel a little bit more disturbing is some people say someone threw uh, slit their own throat with their own freaking thumb or their fingers. How's that even fair? How's that even possible? You could slit your own throat by with your own finger or your thumb. How's that even possible? And um, man, oh man, this is actually it's really disturbing uh, show. And um. I honestly have nothing else to say about the the show in general. Because, again, there's a lot of plot twists about who is the real murderer or the one who started all, all this until I got into the final three episodes that I just found out that was a brown hair girl. I forgot her name. That she's the one who started everything. Because, from the again, the beginning of the, of the episodes, I thought it was just two girls. The brown girl that I just mentioned and the green hair girl. But both of them died, etc. And and then mind fucked me. Then when we went to the other four chapters of the episodes, and some of them are alive, and especially the main character is alive. So pretty much they trying to mind fuck you with a story. And in in the fourth chapter is um what else? The about the fourth chapter, I think it was just the fourth chapter of. Um, the green hair girl has a twin sister who almost look identical to her. And then it was her to be the murderer. And I was kind of a little bit confused though. I was like, oh my god, I'm so confused. And the main character died twice. And another chapter, five chapters, he's still alive. And we have another story about um, another male new character who is a main character for the five chapter. And um, what's her name? We Rika, Rika, oh, well, I said her name right, the, the cutest blue hair girl, oh, she's so adorable, and somehow in her family name, she has the ability to predict the future of her, of everyone's death, that she prevented her death, and that she knew she was gonna happen, which it, which it did, in the other chapter, that, um, the main character wanted to become a murderer by killing, um, the blonde hair girl's uncle, abuse uncle, and now he's going insane, and and when he found the blue hairs girl body was 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 in a coma, but she was dead when she was in a coma. 
and somehow that opened her entire ribs and organs, etc. And and everything went to hell. It, it, the entire story will mind fuck you. Like both of these characters will have their own story arcs, and it gets you mind fucked about who is the murderer, who's the one who started all of this, and why the the character, the main character, gets killed twice, but. He, I mean, the first, the second time he got stabbed, he survived. And uh, the third time that he thought he died by falling off the bridge, but he somehow survived because there was a virus going on spreading in the small village. But he survived. He's in a condition and a coma with the virus. So he survived. So it's really mindfuck. And the entire story make you mindfuck, actually. So... I, it gives me my head mixed up when I watch the entire episode. It's like, oh my god, this, the entire story giving me mind grains out of the plot. They, they give you so many plots for all the episode. It gets you confused. Like, wait, who, is, is these two in the murderer? Or the, is the main character the murderer? Or the twin sister the murderer? Or the, the brown haired girl is the murderer? What, what the hell? But in the end of the day, it was the, the brown hair girl because the reason why she wants to do this because she's afraid about alien invasion that she believes that alien might appear on earth and she's afraid that they might show up on earth so yeah so pretty much the entire story was mind fucked and so yeah i the story the, again the story was mind fucked the story was a little bit dark and gruesome or well, much more gruesome with a finger and slit your own throat with your own finger and that's not even possible and um what else I want to say I honestly got nothing else to say honestly I was spent in to be dark but it was actually it is gruesome though and also I saw the scene where you guys remember I did my reaction of of the most top ten most brutal anime death. And, um, and, um, the blue hair girl committed suicide by stabbing her head with a knife, the kitchen knife. Yeah, that was in that show. That was still disturbing. But, yeah, I honestly have nothing to say about this. Um, so yeah, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Links to my GoFundMe page will also be down below the description box. Uh, you guys are sure about the uh, donation and support, etc. Again. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Nearly before Shadow Critias, I'll see you guys later.